Libra, the moon rising Venus sign. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. And I do read all the comments I've got so many times. Like, you don't read all the comments? I read all the comments. <laughs> I do. I swear to God to you. Um, okay, so this is going to be a different kind of spread today, which I'm going to incorporate now into my monthly thing. So, as you know, I have the general loves. I have the extra turn loves. This one's going to be specifically for, okay, if you are single, if you are married, if you have more than one partner, if you, whatever your situation is, if you have two, three people, doesn't matter, okay? This is going to be who you are in love with. If you have two, three people, it's who you're in love with the most, okay? It can be someone at your job that you, they don't even, you know, you, you haven't even approached because it's just somebody or at your school or wherever uh, that you are in love with, okay? So, Libra, someone in rising, being a sign. I'm going to timestamp this. And by the way, I'm going to start my weeklies up again. Uh, I'm going to do them live, though. Okay? I decided that it would be a lot easier than trying to uh, take the time out to upload videos and so forth. And I'll do all signs uh, live. And I'm going to probably start that either next week or the week after. So I'm just leaving you guys that. And also, um, today I worked on some interviews. So... Uh, I got interviewed by um, a couple of other channels, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to post them on my channel so you can see them. And then I also have a great interview coming up with um, an astrologer, Michael Reed. So stay tuned for that. Okay. All right, I think this, this is good enough. By the way, um, I know I'll get a lot of questions on decks. This deck that I'm using right now, it's really actually a really cool deck, actually. Um, I'm probably going to do a review on it, but it's, it's, it's very interesting. I like the imagery on it. I like the bright colors on it. It really resonates with me. I just got it. And when you just get a deck and it resonates with you right away, that's a good deck. <laughs> so I'm really enjoying this deck. Uh, and I put the, what the name of it is below. So that you know. All right. That's it. Let's get going. All right, Libra, someone rising Venus sign. And if I take too long, you guys can always fast forward through <laughs> my talking. Libra, someone rising Venus sign. Uh, by the way, if you don't know it, um, check the link below. I can do it for you, your uh, astrology done. Thank you. So we got the death card. So far we have the death card. I'm going to do a um, three card spread on this. And then it's going to be, are they going to take an action and what's the outcome? Um, and also, if you want a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. Also, the link is below. All right. Libra, someone rising, Venus sign. The person that they're in love with for November 15th to 30th, please. And I'm going to put the death card aside just because I'm not sure if, if spirit was knowing that I was asking a question at the moment. So we're just going to put that one aside and see how it plays in there. So you guys are going to have four cards to three for what they're thinking. So, Libra, someone rising Venus sign. What does this person that Libra is in love with secretly want to tell them? What does this person that Libra is in love with secretly want to tell them? November 15th to the 30th. Show me the card I need to see. 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 Okay, that feels good. All right. Interesting. Ace of Swords, energy, mental clarity. So they have some kind of mental clarity about something. Hmm. Let me bring this down a little bit more so you guys can see it. I'll leave that death card there. This death card is kind of scary looking, actually. <laughs> Can't even see the person's face in there. Oh my lord. And someone told me what the name of that thing was, but I forget again. So you're going to have to comment below and tell me again what is the name of that tool that the uh, the death guy has in his hand. The death guy has in his hand. <laughs> I keep forgetting what the name of that thing is. But he's got like a bunch of daggers and... Oh, God. It looks like blood at the bottom there. That's horrible. Is he on a boat or something? All right. Anyway. No, maybe not. Libra, someone in rising Venus sign. 
what does their love partner secretly want to tell them for November 15th to the 30th? Show me the card I need to see. 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 Okay, got it. Wow, there's a lot of new potential here. The, you guys, this, whoever I'm talking to, this is probably a new relationship with the Ace of Wands. Interesting. Secretly, secretly, Libra, Libra, Libra. What are they? This is a part, this person that they truly love. They love with all their heart and their soul. They want to be with. What do they secretly want to tell them? Seven of Swords. There's an uncertainty there. Hmm. Okay, so let me lay down a little bit more cards, and we're going to go through it. Okay, what's their, what's the Libra's love interest? What's the action they're going to take towards them for November first? Uh, excuse me, fifteenth to the thirtieth. What action they're going to take? Of course, you would fall. And two cards. Although I'm happy that these cards fell out. These are good cards. So we have unity. We have unity here um, with, it looks like, the two of coins. Um, actually, I think this is the two of wands. Actually, yeah, two of wands, unity. So uh, Remember, guys, these are new cards to me, too. So, uh, And we got the six of pentacles, well-being. Hmm. So this is the action they're going to take. They're going to make a decision for an equal a give and take that's going to, wow, so far it's pretty good, pretty good readings. Even Virgo's was pretty decent. All right. What's going to be the outcome on this? What's going to be the outcome on this for this person? What's going to be the outcome on this? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. What's going to be the outcome on this? Thank you. Whoa, okay. All right. Mm. Uh, do, do I have to show these cards? Do I have to? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Ten of wands ten of wands and the hangman. So uh, the card says oppression and the hangman. So Something's coming to a head with the situation. So the action's going to be a good action, but the outcome, there's going to be some waiting around. Interesting. I wonder what's going on with that. Okay, we're going to have to find out what's going on with that. So let's kind of analyze. Why do we have the... Okay, so the Ace of Swords is here because there's a new type of energy, a new mental clarity about you. That's what they secretly want to tell you. They actually are feeling very sexually attracted to you because there's a potency here with the ace and it's it's all new. So they definitely are feeling, uh, they have mental clarity about the fact that they're sexually attracted to you. Okay. Uh, however, there's something that they are very uncertain about with the seven of swords. They have an uncertainty if they should should fight for the situation, they should stand up and fight. They should walk away. Uh, they're kind of analyzing it in their mind, debating back and forth whether they should approach you about it. Their action is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is an equal give and take which is going to bring well-being and they are in the decision process with the two of wands of unity but the outcome is the confusing part to me uh some kind of oppressions going on which is making them with the outcome which is making things kind of like at a standstill some kind of maybe it's something to do with the environment okay let's do some clarity 
And I also want to clarify this death card. Because maybe they need to end something with someone else. So maybe that's also what this unity card is about. First, let's let's clarify the energy of the Ace of Swords. Because Alright. Oh, I see. So I understand why they have some uncertainty. That's why the death card came out. They're getting over someone. They're stuck in their head over someone else from the past. But they secretly want to tell you that they are they're over that. That's that's ended. It's done. Um, now they have this new potency towards you, this new dental clarity towards you. Why is this ace of wands here? Yeah, they want to tell you that with the page of swords, which is about messages and new paths. They want to, they want to communicate this to you that they are attracted to you. Um, why is the seven of swords here? Ah, so there's uncertainty because okay, so this could work one of two ways here, guys. Either they had mental clarity about the fact that you had ended something with someone else. But there's still an uncertainty there of whether or not you're filling that person from the past with the with the Ten of Swords. Yeah. Okay, so it's either one of two ways here. Either they're uncertain because they're still filling someone from the past. And you will know because this is going to resonate with your situation. Or they're not sure if you're still filling someone from the past and if you're still stuck in your head about that person. But I kind of want to feel like it's the other way around. I feel like it's them because why would they have the Ace of Swords? It's the mental clarity. It's saying, okay, wow, you know, I have this new mental clarity. Now I'm finally ready to go forward and have something new. And let's, let's just get one on the death card. Now I understand why Spirit wanted that to come out. I get it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, someone walked away from someone. The death card. Someone walked away from their emotions. They were numb with their emotions. They walked away to a better situation. And now because of that ending, there is this new beginning and new passion. And the only thing that's going on is because of this past situation, this ending, there's an uncertainty here. Okay. Clarify for me why this well-being card is here. Six of pentacles. Hangman. So maybe also uh, because of the fact that there's this uncertainty, there's still some waiting around. Okay, so they're not going to take an action as a right away because they still need to make a decision. Why? Because there's not an equal give and take. Why is the two of wands here? Now I understand why the hangman was there. Okay, so um, it looks like it could be involving a work situation because we got the, the King of Pentacles and we got the Three of Coins, which is building. And of course, the King of Pentacles is a business person and someone's good at finances and so forth. So, and also we got the Six of Pentacles here. So this could, the reason why there may also be a holding off here is because something to do with finances. They're waiting. Interesting. Or there could be an earth sign involved with this, but there's a lot of coins here. Uh, or maybe there's still uncertainty about this other person that could still be in the picture. Because we got this completion here, this 10. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. I'm really curious about this Ten of Wands. I'm going to get an Oracle card on this too. What's this Ten of Wands about? Sneaky behavior. Hmm. 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 Someone is burdened financially and they have to wait. Even though, even though things are over between this, this person and them, they're still financially burdened by this person. 
and they have to wait. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, that's what it is. That's the situation. Whoever I'm talking to, that's who it goes to. Hey, man. So, once the waiting is over, um, you're going to be a very happy person, Libra. Uh, and it's going to come in fast. Okay? I want you to know it's going to come in fast. It's going to come through uh, text message. It's going to come through uh, email, phone call, possibly. But I think more, this feels more text message online. All right. So what's going on with this situation? I know exactly what's going on with the situation. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. They uh, want you to seek. They secretly want to tell you that they're they're this the situation that they're in currently. Uh, this situation's over. Uh, uh, this person hurt them. Uh, they have been really focused on the past, and they're no longer stuck in the past anymore. They're no longer stuck in their head. They. They actually have mental clarity about wanting to be with you. They have new, new passion about wanting to be with you. The only thing that's holding them back at this point is the fact that they're still burdened with somebody financially. Um, they are still in a situation where they have to deal with another person financially. Uh, once this waiting is over, once this is cleared out, uh, they're going to come forward with this about how they feel okay let us get some other cards on this yeah they have unrequited love with this person that they're dealing with right now okay they have unrequited love with this person. I think that they're married to this person I have wedding unrequited love so whoever they're they're dealing with they're married to which makes sense because if you look at this card it looks like they're standing and they're being married okay so this person that they're dealing with they are married to and spirit saying that they deserve love you deserve love you are lovable so and you're going to get to know each other because it's time it's time. So once things are cleared out with, and that's, it makes sense of why we also have the Ten of Cups here. If you look at the Ten of Cups, there's a completion with that. There is a family in that card. They're waiting for this oppression, this burden to be released from them. Okay. Thank you. There's a codependency. Spirit said, thank you. Codependency going on. Um, however, they feel very passionate towards you. They want to tell you that. So, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this clears this up for you, what this person is thinking about. So, for this person that I'm thinking about, oh, excuse me, this person I'm thinking about. For this person that I'm talking to, this particular person that I'm talking to, um, or these particular people that I'm talking to, this energy that resonates. Um... This person does secretly want to tell you that their relationship is over, even though they're still attached to somebody uh, financially. They don't love them anymore, even though they have this uncertainty because of this pain that they've gone through. Um, they're ready to move forward with you. They feel passionate about you. They're ready for something new. They just have to, um, they have to wait until this burden is lifted from them. But once it is, uh, this person is codependent on this person. Either they're codependent on them or, you know, vice versa. But um, they do feel very passionate towards you and do want something new with you. So, Libra, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe. It doesn't resonate with you. And check your moon, your rising Venus sign. If you don't know it, look the link below. Um, and also, if you want a personal reading with me, uh, the link is below or jenniferwalkerzen.com. All right, guys, and stay tuned for some of the other videos that I'm releasing. I'm releasing some um, interviews and some more, uh, of course, monthly videos. And I'll be going live potentially next week. And I'm so nervous because I'm a shy person. But anyway, as you can't tell that I'm in front of the camera right now. But anyway, <laughs> love you guys. So um, I'll be seeing you soon.